Hi, Rick from Marva Models, unique dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. In this video, I'm going to be covering the dreaded firmware update, the scourge of every drone user. Uh, it's nothing really to panic about, and as long as you follow the guidelines, then things should update quite freely. Uh, I find that unique products actually update very easily, generally don't get any issues at all, not unless you're trying to update an already updated crap. So this video, I'm going to cover uh, either updating the uh, Typhoon H or updating the SD controller or in fact both and I'll also give you a few tips along the way. Okay so first things first you need to come to the Unique Aviation website. Now even if you're actually in the UK or Europe it's worth actually coming to the uh, .com website as the firmware seems to be a little bit more up to date. Uh, once there just go to the support page and then scroll down to the Typhoon H. You've obviously got various links there for different things, but we're looking for firmware. Now, you may only have a craft firmware to update, or you may also have an SD16 uh, update. Now, as far as the craft goes, there are two versions. There's a standard version, and there's the uh, European version. Now, don't get them cross-compatible. So if you're in Europe, take the European version. If you're in the rest of the world, then obviously use the standard version as they won't be compatible on each other craft. Uh, scrolling down to the ST16 ver um, firmware, there is only one. Uh, now, I've actually already downloaded both as you can see them down here, so I'll not need to download them again, but obviously once you click on them, they'll download to your download folder. So if we just go into download, you will see in this case, Typhoon H firmware already there. Um, insert an SD card into your PC card slot and you'll see it there, I've got it in F. Now it's worth starting off with a freshly formatted card. So what we want to do is format the card, make sure there's nothing on it of course. Start firmware, yes it's okay. And that's it formatted. This just gives you a nice clean base to put the uh, bin file on so craft doesn't get confused at all when you're actually trying to update it. So we just want to drag that across down to there do, 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 do. and that's you downloaded ready for the next step okay so you've got the uh, firmware transferred onto your sd card now you just simply place that into the base of the camera correct way round like that okay now we need to power on the controller and power on the craft. Always remember, to, always remember to power on your controller first, then the craft. Okay, now the two are fully booted up, we want to go on to system settings. Just acknowledge you're disconnecting from the craft. We're going to about controller. And here you're gonna see your firmwares. Now it's worth taking a note of the firmware you're already on, because what we'll do is once the firmwares are updated, we're gonna come back here and just double check that we have actually fully updated. So we're gonna do craft first, so update there. There we go. And just let that decompress the file. That's us now on to the upgrading. Now you've got your progress along the bottom here, so I'll give you a bit of an idea how long that's going to take. Okay, there we go. You hear the craft doing a little reboot there, just to acknowledge we're at the end of the firmware update. And that's the camera updating now as well. As we're on to the, as you see there, you've got firmwares three of three. So each individual component of the craft will have its own firmware. Okay, and as you see there, you've got your acknowledgement. Firmwares have succeeded. Please restart the aircraft. Now, when you restart the aircraft, if you turn it off and then just give it a couple of two, three seconds before repowering it on again. And there we can see we're now connected. So if we go back into system settings, disconnect from the craft, okay, about control, about firmware update, you can now see that we are on the latest firmware here. 
Okay, so once the bin has been downloaded, you will see your uh, firmware downloads and appear here. So if we're updating the SD16 controller, we find it here. Now it's always worth freshly formatting your car before you start. So um, give that a format, make sure there's nothing importing on it. And then it's just a simple case of dragging and dropping the bin file across to the SD card. Okay, now that we've got the firmware onto the SD card, we now need to install that into the base of the controller. Just remember to get it the right way up. Like that. And that's that load, loaded in, ready. So now if we just turn on the controller. Okay, so if we go back into the system settings, click on OK. And here we have about controller. If we just go up to the SD16. Now take note of the firmware that you're all currently on because we'll come back to that just to double check we've updated to the newest one. Just like that, unpack the file. There we go, now we've got the controller going to be shutting itself down just so it can repower itself. That's it, doing a full system restart. You'll see the wee progress arrow along the bottom, or what would be the bottom if we were in portrait mode. It's just going to do another restart. The ST16's um, firmware is much larger than the firmware for the Typhoon H, so there's certainly a lot more goes on when it's going through its updating process. Now you've got your uh, operating system upgrades there going through what 30 odds of 83 gives you an idea how long it's going to take there we go just remember to have it tapped onto the correct language otherwise you could end up completely in the wrong language okay now that you've uh, fully updated the controller and the craft um, what the controller update does, it pretty much wipes your tablet clean. So for example, if you go into model select, you will actually notice if you have actually created any additional models, they have now gone. Uh, so what you need to do is you actually need to rebind. So you need to select the craft, which you want, obviously Typhoon H. And we need to go into system settings, bind. Connect camera, bind, enter your password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, boom. Connect flight system established, right, go back to the start, we have camera. So click on camera settings and enter into team mode. Uh, and what this will do is when you enter into team mode, it actually puts the craft into binding mode. So go back over to system settings, OK, and just click on a refresh. You'll now see that the aircraft has appeared. We've already done it on the camera, so we're doing the aircraft now. Bind that, syncing model data, that's done. Come back out of there. And there we go. So how we know it's connected, obviously we've got a picture uh, from the camera, but you'll now see you've got all your telemetry running down the outside. Now what it's worth doing, if we go into model select, is now there's only one model. So if you have made any backups for your model, um, you'll probably have to do them again. So it's just a simple job of going copy, and then you've got another Typhoon H there. So if you're doing any mods, etc., or playing around with the channel settings, always do it from a copy. Don't, uh, don't just uh, fire on the original one. Go back to the start, and then we have our picture. 
So there you go, that is how you do the firmware updates on the Typhoon H and the SD16 controller. As always, thank you very much to my customers for shopping with me and keeping me going for another year and I can keep bringing you all these helpful videos. As I always say, the videos, they don't bring us an awful lot of income, so we do need some support so we can keep doing them. So if you enjoyed the video, certainly subscribe to my channel, give it a like, and if you are in the UK, I would obviously sincerely appreciate it if you buy your unique products from myself. If you're not in the UK, always support the small independent dealers, uh, the small guys, because they're always the guys that are going to go the little extra mile when you really need them. Thank you very much.